Hello, my soccer universe. I don't really know what's going on in the German Bundesliga, but it has a goal average of almost four goals, 3.833 goals per game. And this round had 38 goals in nine games. That's more than four goals per game. So while I was already excited about what's happening in the Austrian Bundesliga, the German Bundesliga, yeah, the Germans top us once. Again, the top clash between Bayern and Leverkusen happened before the one between Sturm and Salzburg also. Very many parallels there with similar penalty and so on. There were no fireworks, but it was fireworks on the field. It was a really, really entertaining game, one that I actually cleared my schedule for because it was that important. But we also had Dortmund finally kind of getting a convincing win at a big opponent in Freie Freiburg. Stuttgart frying, flying. Uh, I'm so happy that they do after this uh, mauling that they got in Leipzig and Leipzig are also up there. And then both promoted teams finally got points, although Darmstadt will not be happy about what happened with them in that game. But we'll start in Munich. Uh, it was Friday evening, Bayern with their new Oktoberfest jerseys. Probably the ugliest Bayern jerseys that I've seen in my life. This kind of... Uh, I don't even know how to describe this green tone that they had. Um, and then with white num numbers, it was really hard. I mean, at least give me some dark red for the names and numbers. I think this would make a little bit more sense. So that did not look good. However, Bayern looked good from the big get-go. And already in the seventh minute, Harry Kane, uh, you know, uh, Tau was uh, heading the ball right towards Harry, Harry Kane, who then opened it to get, get it in after corner kick. And for the first 20 minutes or so, Bayern was definitely better. However, then Bayern Leverkusen switched the tactics for more, you know, a little bit of a weird system. And they get a free kick. The Thomas Müller still is not happy that the free kick was given because, yes, he had the high foot and the other one is also high. He hits him, but he says, yeah, this was a coming, coming, coming together. This was a very soft free kick. Grimaldo didn't care because he unleashed a rocket into the net. Uh, over the wall, really, really great freaking, and it was from that moment it was game on. Uh, Leverkusen consequently had a little bit more of that game. However, it was then late in the second half where Bayern actually created chances and probably should have taken the lead again. Overall, though, I think Leverkusen then had more of the game, and Xavi Alonso is becoming like. I, Becoming a really, really interesting coach already that early in his coaching tenure. Um, Leverkusen had more of the game, but Bayern created a chance in a huge one from Harry Harry Kane, where uh, just a leg uh, denied him from scoring. Uh, but then also, you know, after that, there was kind of a 20-minute phase where the game kind of fell asleep. You thought that both teams are kind of happy with the draw, but then the game came alive again with Leverkusen having a few few chances. However, the uh, go-ahead Golden came uh, to Goretzka. Kane had just come off for uh, Chupo Moting. Uh, Lima also came, came off about uh, Matthias Tell, who had come early on for Gnabry, finds Goretzka free. And this was kind of one where the Leverkusen defense completely forgot about Goretzka. And he seemingly got the winning goal. Seemingly. Because in over, over, over time, another, and I would agree, was kind of a soft penalty. But if you look, look at it, it was a clear, it was clear that uh, the Leverkusen player got wrapped. It's a penalty. And Palacios in the 94th minute gets an equal. that was celebrated wildly by the Leverkusen fans. Bayern really, really not happy. But what, can, what, what I can say is this was, like the one in Austria, this 2-2 draw with many parallels. It was a very entertaining game uh, and it was a promotion for the German Bond Bundesliga and that was also for the remaining games true uh, let's run through it Köln again they cannot get get going the game went really against them the run of play they maybe even controlled most of the game but first minute they forget about Kramaric who may, may, may makes it 1-0 one, one then they are, get caught on a counter but the goalie uh, needs to in intercept it goes right to Grilic who just behind the halfway line a golf shot into uh, the top corner of, of the net. A really, really great goal. I mean, it bounces one and, and, and so on. But if you look at it from, from behind goal, it, it really curls in because he was move, moving out. Great goal. 
And then when Curran really tried to get it going again in 52nd minute, again, a caught on the counter again, Bayer with a great shot. Makes it 3-0, at least the pull one back was a little bit too late. Uh, the game between Freiburg and Dortmund was actually a much closer one than the final scoreline would suggest. Yes, Dortmund take an early lead, but then Freiburg having to get a great, great job, great, great Griff come on, that egg actually pays dividends because he assists Freiburg twice in stoppage time uh, to turn the game uh, around and, did, and this was coming. Freiburg had created chances already. Höhler and Höfler making the goals. Uh, right after I have Don Daniel Marlen uh, powers through him in mean, full crook head, 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 come on, immediately gets the assist for Marlen who um, play, plays it, runs through, gets the equal, and then the game was really, really tight. Could have swung either way, however, Höfler is sent off with a red card, and then Hummels with one of the dirtiest goals you'll ever, 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 ever see because the Freiburg defenders cannot get to it, falls to uh, Hummels who puts a leg on it, and it bounces over the line and Marco Reus uh, in stoppage time uh, seals it for Dortmund but it was a tight probably good game. I already said Stuttgart are flying and especially Gira C he scores a hat-trick with his left foot with his right foot and with, with his head. Yeah Barrero gets an equalizer in there also a rather weird goal but I think overall Stuttgart really deserved that one and they are the team of the moment that no one expected that they will be up there. Leipzig though, 3-0 at home and it's all in within the first uh, half hour. Simons, Openda and Raum and then uh, <laughs> that was that. Uh, Union Berlin ahead of the clash in the Bernabeu lose 1-2 in Wolfsburg. Yeah, doesn't bode well. It was an entertaining 1-1 between Bochum and Frankfurt with Ibimbe giving Frankfurt the lead but then a Stöger penalty. Kind of a softish one. Then the game could have gone either way again. Didn't see much of the Sunday results. However, Heidenheim had enjoyed a 2-0 lead. Bremen could equalize and then Heidenheim pull, pulled away. That's the first win for them this season. And Darmstadt held a 3-0 halftime lead. However, in the 49th minute, uh, Maglitzer is sent off with a red card for handling. The ensuing penalty is missed. However, then um, three goals uh, by um, um, Pifok. Uh, Neuhaus and Kranzara gave Salvage a draw for Gladbach. And so we have now in the current standings, uh, the top two remain the same and then everything else changes. It's still very early in the season. Leverkusen might be the one contender around. However, Leipzig is in there. Stuttgart really, really high up there and also Hoffenheim and Volvo Wolfsburg. So it's a really, really tight table up top. Uh, you see kind of a cut after Freiburg. I mean, Heidenheim have now four points. Uh, maybe you could even argue a cut after Dortmund Dort 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 also uh, go in there. But there are a few teams that look to be in trouble. Uh, now let's cut it at Heidenheim. A 4 3 3 2 2 2 1 1 1 Köln, Darmstadt, Mainz, Köln, and Mainz. Not two teams that I would have expected in there. And Gladbach also. I mean, the joke is yeah, they did not get the win against Bayern, and suddenly they're in trouble. The win against Bayern that they usually would uh, get. Um, if you look here in the expected final, final, final signs, we see that Bayern are still very much the favorites, but Leipzig, Dortmund, Leverkusen. I actually think that Leverkusen is a little bit underrated because I think they are much, much better. And I would say that Heidenheim and Darmstadt will have a hard time uh, staying in the league. Um, as for the next round, I mean, my eyes immediately go down to Eintracht against Freiburg. This is a duel that I think could be in, in, in interesting. Bremen against current traditional duel, but now it's more bottom feeders. Um, Stuttgart, Darmstadt, maybe. I think it's Dortmund against Wolfsburg that should be the most exciting one in there. And maybe Union against Hoffenheim. I don't know where this will be going. In any case, it was a really exciting round in the Bundesliga. I think the Bundesliga is becoming a league that I enjoy way more than I usually did. In any case, let me know what you thought about the action in the Bundesliga. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you soon about it again. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!